everybody, welcome back to a tutorial. Well, this is my first one, so I'm sorry if I suck at this, but, you know, this is my first one, so cut me some slack. I do apologize for the bad camera quality. As you know, this camera sucks. Anyways, what I'm going to show you guys is the difference between a blue disc and a silver disc. Now, I, obviously, it's pretty simple. Blue discs have a blue back to them, and silver discs, which all of you know, have a silver path to them. Now, one thing is, like some of you guys may be asking, what is the difference between the two? Well, you see, I have both two cases here. Now, the ga this game right here, I'm making a series on it. This is a DVD ROM, as you can see, it might say that. Yep, DVD ROM. And so, <clears throat> it is a little heavier than a blue disc. And so, the PlayStation is forcing this disc to spin slowly. Now, for these kind of games right here, on the case, it would say something like compact disc. Let me find it. Yeah, right, the compact disc. And since these... Oh my god. Beep. These discs are lighter and are forced to spin, like a lot faster and sometimes when you put these disc discs into their PlayStation it'll say disc read error so let's try that we'll just open the tray real quick and put this in alright now give it a second let me just press enter um oh my god I can't find my remote oh here it is alright let me just press enter right here As you can see, it's not reading the disc. Because the disc is being forced to spin faster, and sometimes, if it's being forced to spin faster, it make, it's not really holding on inside. So, I'll take this out. Now, I'm going to show you how to sort of fix this. Now, this might not, like, work for you, or just, like, I don't know. I'm sorry if it doesn't work for you, but this is the only way I know how to fix this, so... The one thing I found out is that you just have to put tape in the middle of your disc. Obviously, you can see I have a tape dispenser right here. So I will put tape on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished taping this, and now what the tape is supposed to do is that it's supposed to make this disc a little heavier, so when it spins faster, it should still like hold on into the tray. So let's put this in. At this point, I would also like to say that the tape does not mess with the PlayStation inside, as long as you do not put it on the wrong side of the disc, and, you know, put it on the top side, alright, the top. PlayStation's not making any weird sounds yet, so... Uh oh. Alright, so I don't know what happened before. I'm sorry, but I think like I, the tape, the disc got scratched up. So I'm gonna try to put this in the tray again. So let's just give it a second. And bingo. There we go, guys. I'm sorry about what happened before. I think my I think I might have scratched up my disc badly. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. I would start up the game, but usually the starting screen would like be on for five minutes, and I just got a low storage warning, so I can't keep this up forever. Anyways, I sort of hope this video this video is a little helpful. I'm sorry if it's not, but. I don't think anybody even watching this video e is even going to have this problem with their PlayStation. But I do. So uh, let's just say I'm glad I found a way to fix that. And I don't know how many questions just ask me later in the comments below. And if you do comment, it will take me a little while to comment back. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring you. It's just technological problems, alright? I'll see you guys in the next video. So long.